Hey, this is Alex Power and in today's Premiere Pro CC 2017 tutorial, I will teach you how to do an easy sky replacement. You will be able to get from a boring colorless shot like this to something nice and cinematic like that. It's very easy to follow tutorial and you can learn this in no time. Let's get started. Okay, I have a footage here that I shot on Mavic Pro drone you don't have to shoot it with the drone you can use your camera if you use a canon camera i would recommend to shoot in a log format which is cine style i have a tutorial on how to install that so again it got to be plain here in order for you to match this with another footage let's choose the point first when we want to start when we want to end i would choose this point to start this is the point i want to start I'm gonna go for a little bit, it goes back, drone flies back, all the way here. Looks good to me. Let's end up here. Now, let's just color grade quick because we don't want to spend too much time doing that. You can, of course, put some loot in here, but that's let's just not do that. It's just a quick color correction. And I want to put more saturation here. It looks already so much better than it was. That's good enough for now go back to editing go to the fact tab grab that color key go to this select tool and select this sky keep in mind that when filming this you want to make sure the sky is even color if you have some clouds already on the sky or if it's during the sunset when you have some yellow colors and you have some white and you have some blue that's not really gonna work make sure it is even during a golden hour probably would be your best bet right after the sunset or you need to shoot against the sunset which I did right here so just just drop this here nothing is happening we just need to go to this color tolerance and bring this up all the way until the sky turns black okay that looks good to me to make it look nicer let's put the edge thin about like minus two that's it you don't want to go farther because that's gonna not gonna look natural and here edge feather you can play with it until you find the right settings that fits your scenario now let's bring this time lapse that I shot okay and let's scale this to the proper size that looks pretty good if we go back to our settings here and we will remove the things we'll call graded limited color see it will look just plain and here it's just much more saturated much more life we brought into the scene okay let's take a look at what we got It looks really nice just to let you know you don't have to have a drone for this or an expensive camera in order to make this time lapse if you don't have a camera that has a developer inside you can make a time lapse by pointing your camera right into the sky with the clouds when it's really really nice film it for like 10 minutes and after that you can just speed this up thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like drop a comment and press this bell notification button that you won't miss any of the future videos that I release on this channel. See you next time.